Hey there, I'm Nirupam and in this video, we're going to talk about complementary colors. So complementary colors are two colors that are on opposite side of the color. As an artist, knowing which color are complementary to one another can help you make good color decisions. For instance, complementaries can make each other appear brighter. They can be mixed to a creative, effective neutral hues or they can be blended together for shadows. Let's explore how you can use complementary colors to your advantage. Now, what are the basic complementary colors? At the heart of color theory, complementary colors are opposite hues on the color wheel. In their most basic form, they are one primary color and the secondary color that are created by mixing the other two primaries. For instance, the complementary color to yellow is purple, which is a mix of blue and red. With that knowledge, it's rather easy to remember the first set of complementary colors that are purple for yellow, orange for blue, and green for red. If you add the tertiary colors, those made of one primary and one secondary color, and work your way around the color wheel, you will find that these colors are also complementary. Yellow orange and blue purple, that is indigo, orange red and green blue that is aqua red purple that is pink and green yellow the color wheel can be divided into infinite numbers of time to include all gradients in between these basic hues what is most important to understand is that no matter the shade or the tone of the color the opposite color is always its complementary now as the name suggests complementary colors are used to complement two colors one thing you will notice is that the pair of complementary colors is made up of one cool color and one warm color. Orange, red and yellow are the warm colors, while blue, green and purple are the cool colors. This helps create what is known as simultaneous contrast, the highest contrast available on color wheel. Simultaneous contrast occurs due to a natural illusion when you place two complementary colors next to one another. Both colors will appear brighter and grab a viewer's attention. Artists use this to their advantage all the time. For example, sunsets with gradients from deep blue to bright orange are more eye-catching because they rely on simultaneous contrast. Similarly, if your tube of red paint isn't bright enough, paint something green next to it. It might help. When you're mixing paints, look to the hue complementary first because it can make wonderful thing happen. For example, choosing to blend the complementary colors into the main color of the subject is one of the best way to paint dynamic shadows. You can also use complementary colors to make hue less vibrant. The more you add, the more neutral it becomes. For instance, adding a green paint to a red one will create a bright sienna. Adding a little more and it becomes a dark sienna. If you mix the two paints in equal part, you will get a warm toned dark brown. These neutrals can be manipulated further by mixing white, gray or black. Play around with this concept and do some test mixing and sample swatches to see how your complementary paints affect one another. In general, if you are ever stuck on mixing or blending a particular paint, always consider its complement. Quite often, the answer to your problem is right there on the color wheel. That's all for complementary colors. See you in the next video.